Hey, hey, it's Dana the Gypsy Psychic. Are y'all ready for another message? Come on in, get comfortable, put your feet up, get your blanket, get your pillow, get you something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to, put in the earbuds, kick back and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. If you're new to the channel, it's going to work the way that it always works. I'm going to shuffle and pray. I'll lay out at least 15 cards. I'm going to talk about it as I clarify it and sew together a story. Okay, now let's jump in and see what these cards have to say today. Hey there, Pisces. It's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Woo! What's going on, you guys? I'm here to do a reading for you. It's a big, fat, full moon, and I am feeling myself. So, in honor of Pisces and their feelings and the moon and all of that good stuff, I want to throw down for Pisces, so let's do it. Give me just a second to channel. I'll get the message, and we'll see what these cards have to say for you today. Okay, Pisces? Let's do it. Spirit, Source, Universal Energy. Woo. I have the Collective of Pisces with me. And Spirit, Pisces wants to know what you know. What do you know about the Pisces, and what does Pisces need to know and understand? about themselves, their lives, and their future. Spirit, what's coming towards Pisces? What does Pisces need to look out for? What does Pisces need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do they navigate the coming situations and circumstances of their lives for their very best and highest good? Spirit, please use me as a clean and clear vessel to not only interpret these messages, but to explain them as well. Where is the stopping point for Pisces? I will cut. I think it's right there. I will cut three times and I will pull straight from the top. All right. My air conditioner just kicked on. It's hot as hell here. So y'all just going to have to deal with that background noise. Okay. All right. Let's go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Bottom of the deck, the Hierophant. Holy schmoly. Followed by Temperance in reverse. The Queen of Swords in reverse. The King of Swords in reverse and the Two of Swords. All right, all of these guys are on the bottom of the deck. This is going to make a lot more sense to you in just a second. First card out the Queen of Wands. Interesting. Let's see what this is about. To the Queen of Wands, to the Four of Wands in reverse. Some kind of upset in the sense of well being. The Nine of Wands, resilience, persistence, fighting the good fight. The Hangman at your wits end maybe the four of cups in reverse talking about emotionally apathetic let's see to the ten of cups in the upright let's see what's going on here hold on Pisces let me get myself together ten of cups okay to the three of pentacles teamwork collaboration Ooh, the prince of swords in the center of the reading some kind of communication possibly the sun in reverse which you're not seeing clearly the six of pentacles in reverse uh, it's about greed in the sense of well-being somehow the empress the ace of cups in reverse hurt feelings repressed emotions judgment in reverse uh, bad decisions self-doubt the five of pentacles um, left out in the cold to the two of pentacles balance prioritization the wheel in reverse a blockage the two of cups in reverse an unviable relationship justice in reverse not in your best interest the five of wands in reverse the avoidance of responsibility the six of cups in reverse stuck in the past to the four of pentacles pulling it together the king of pentacles in reverse to the nine of cups wishes fulfilled the seven of wands i'm going to find a stopping point here can okay did we was that king of pentacles in reverse back here where was he yes he was and then there's the queen of pentacles in reverse as well and the fool brand new beginning brand new journey the five of cups to the star to the princess of pentacles Let's see, got that going on too. And we'll take those as well. And then the moon in reverse. Okay, 
All right, let's figure it all out, Pisces. Let's figure it all out. What is going on right here? A few things you need to know about me before we get started. First and foremost, I'm going to confuse the hell out of you for a good second. And I will come back to the top and read the whole thing for you in a fluid story, okay? I also have the propensity to be inappropriate. I probably will swear and I will most likely smoke my vape on camera if you do not like any of that. The waters are too choppy, Pisces, and you need to go back to some safe ground, okay? All right, so the Queen of Wands, first card out, sets the tone for everything. What are we talking about here, Spirit, with the Queen of Wands? What are we talking about right here with the Queen of Wands? Who is this Queen of Wands? Is this Pisces standing in her inspirations and desires her because it's a queen, obviously female energy. Um, who is this Queen of Wands right here? Is this the Pisces standing in their energy? Ooh, look at that. To the alchemist in reverse. Untapped potential. Untapped potential for success. To the Four of Wands in reverse, which is talking to us about breakdown in communication, possibly. Um, possibly some kind of transition in your in your in your sense of belonging maybe to the eight of cups in reverse uh, emotionally abandoned a breakdown in communication emotionally abandoned to the nine of wands resilience persistence fighting the good fight tell me what this is about fighting the good fight to the hangman right pausing processing tell me what this is about right here the queen of cups all right Fighting the good fight, coming to terms with something. Okay, um, the hanged man. Give me one more. The, what's the the? Give me one more about this Queen of Cups, please. One more about the Queen of Cups. To the Three of Cups, rejoicing, celebrating, uh, fulfillment. Three is about achievement, growth, expression, communication, and friendship. Okay. To the Four of Cups in reverse, to the Six of Cups, the Hangman. What's this new perspective, though? What What's the Hangman about? It is Pisces. What is the Hanged Man right here? What is the Hangman about? What is that? The Ten of Pentacles. So taking into some consideration if this is viable for your future. All right, Pisces, here's what's going on. Okay, so you are at odds with someone, okay? Either this has happened, is happening, or is going to happen in your near future, okay? There is some kind of relationship that you have with someone. It could be romantic. It could be friendship. It could be family. It could be work. It could be anything. But there is some kind of a relationship in your life that is uh, bad news for you. You are at odds with this person or you will be at odds with this person, okay? So the Queen of Wands, first card out sets the tone for everything. This Queen of Wands um, is you, Pisces. Yes, no, it's not your card and it's not even your sign, but the Queen of Wands is representing the Pisces as someone who is has on point intuition, focused, passionate. The queen of wands is a stand by your side and help you achieve kind of energy. Okay. So there is someone in your life that you have stood by their side time and time again and have tolerated and you have tolerated intolerable behavior over and over and over again for this person. The fire element is one of the four elements that make up the human characteristics, okay? We have the emotions, the mind, the desires and the passions, and the sense of well-being, right? Earth, water, air, fire, okay? This Queen of Wands represents you, Pisces. You have some kind of desire, don't know where it comes from or why, to be a part of someone's life come hell or high water, right? Could be your daughter, could be your mama, could be your dad, your brother, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your employer. 
Um, it could be anything for anyone. This is an absolute general reading, okay? If this was your reading, we could make sense out of it, but I don't know what I'm reading about or who I'm reading for, so we're going to have to piece it together, okay? Queen of Wands. This is you, Pisces. To the Magician in Reverse. The Magician in Reverse is about a couple of things here. It's about manipulation. It's about um, an inability to manifest. What is the inability to manifest? Well, you are trying to put up with someone's bad behaviors no matter what. And the more you put up with their bad behaviors, the more you get screwed over. Okay? To the Four of Swords. It's time to contemplate and reevaluate your motivations for participating in this relationship. The guy in this card is coming out of the Three of Swords, which is grief, sorrow, or pain in the mind. He's coming to terms with it. He's picking up the fourth sword, bringing stability to his mindset and pushing forward. This is saying you need to come to terms with why it is you are participating in something that you just keep beating your head against a brick wall about. The star in reverse says you need to come to terms with an understanding that this relationship is not purposeful for your path, your future, or your life. The Five of Pentacles in reverse. This uh, coming out of the cold again with this person again. And I stress again because this is some kind of a cycle here, okay? Coming out of the cold with this person again, Three of Wands in reverse, is obstacles to your long-term goals. You're not having the foresight to understand that no matter how much you love, care, or desire this person, this person is no bueno no good for your future. What's the problem? Well, like once again, there's some kind of upheaval in your sense of well-being. Um, this card also indicates a breakdown in communication. It also breaks down, it breaks down. It also talks about a transition. Okay. Okay. Breakdown in communication, um, a lack of stability or safety in the situation. Why? Eight of Cups in reverse. Because this person continuously, emotionally abandons you. Okay? You may have some emotional abandonment history with this person in your past. Maybe it is um, a mother. Possibly it's a mother and there is emotional abandonment scars from the past and you just keep pandering and pandering and pandering and you just keep getting more and more and more emotional abandonment from this person. Whether it's a mother or not, that's the dynamics, okay? You're pandering to this person and you only get the thing that you are trying to conquer Emotional abandonment over and over and over again in this relationship. The Nine of Wands. This is about resilience, persistence. You are resiliently and persistently patching the wounds that this person inflicts on you over and over and over again because for some reason you want some kind of validation from this person deep down inside. The Queen of Cups to the Three of Cups. This person is going to want to, yet again, bandage your wounds and come together. The Three of Cups is about joy, celebration, and reuniting. The Queen of Cups, Pisces, indicates your deep, deep love for this person, your deep feelings for this person. And because they have emotionally abandoned you yet again, you are caught in a cycle of wanting to fix it, wanting to brush it under the rug because there's something so significant about this person that you're willing to put up with all kinds of everything to be in their life. And this person wants to reunite with you. They, they think that they're going to just jump right back in to the same old cycle 
yet again. And they have zero intentions of changing anything about themselves. They just expect Pisces to pick up the pieces and keep following along. The hangman, Pisces, okay? Hangman is about taking a step back, reevaluating a situation that you have been participating in for way too long and coming out on the other side with a new perspective. Okay, what's the new perspective? Well, the Four of Cups in reverse. This is emotional apathy. And the Six of Cups in reverse is stuck in the past. Where does the stuck in the past come from? The emotional abandonment. The history with this person. Your person is emotionally apathetic. Possibly incapable of any kind of participation in a relationship. They are emotionally apathetic. I think your person's issues stem from their past. The hangman says it's time to get a new perspective about all of this to the Ten of Pentacles, about the foundation and the future of your life, how you want to build your life in the future. The emperor in reverse, because the person that you are dealing with has nobody's best interest at heart but their own to the Four of Swords again. It is time to contemplate and reconsider what the literal fuck you're doing in this relationship, Pisces. You keep pandering and they keep hurting you and you keep pandering and they keep hurting you and you keep pandering and they keep hurting you. And it's about to go down again. But maybe this time you'll take a step back and realize that the foundation that you want to build for your life cannot be built in, on, or around this person. Ten of Cups to the Three of Pentacles. Again, this person is extremely important or meaningful to you. And you find some kind of collaboration with this person to bring you a great deal of emotional fulfillment when it's good when it's good okay king of wands is just like this queen of wands up here it's talking to you pisces the king of wands is about having vision it's about being capable it's it's about it's about you wanting success this king of wands is about you wanting success in this relationship the Seven of Cups in reverse, but you're living in fantasy land. Fantasy land. To the hangman in reverse. And you are resisting and understanding, Queen of Wands in reverse, that this person is egocentric, self-centered, and has nobody's best interest but their own at the heart of everything that they do. You're not getting it. Prince of Swords are about to come flying in again, though. They are. They're about to communicate with you again after they have done whatever it is that they have done. And Pisces withdraws and swims away and some time goes by. And this person comes flying right back into your life, expecting to pick up exactly where they left off. With no regard to what has been said, the words that have been exchanged, the pain, the hurt, the feelings, none of it. They don't care, Pisces. Prince of Swords is also about you wrapping your mind around an understanding and executing it in your life. The Sun in reverse, because you're not seeing clearly the Six of Pentacles in reverse, that this person only cares about themselves. Six of Pentacles in reverse is about greed in the sense of well-being. They don't want to share anything. They just want to consume from you, Pisces. They just want to consume the moon. When this person comes back into your life, see, the moon is a card about the proverbial human struggle. It doesn't matter the situation or the circumstance. It's always about that which you know to be true in your guts and that which you do not want to accept as the truth. You know in your soul the truth about this person, but you do not want it to be the truth. You're not seeing clearly that this person is completely and totally self-serving. Page of Cups. And there's Pisces saying, okay, all right, let's get back together. Let's give it another shot. Let me, let me, let, let's do it again, mom. Let's do it again, dad. 
Let's do it again, bestie. Let's do it again because for some reason I need you. I need you in my life. I love you. I don't care what you do to me. I love you. And these cards are telling you that you need to see this whole situation in a different perspective. Why? Four of Cups in reverse again. Your person is emotionally apathetic to your needs in this relationship. The Five of Swords. Your person is has a white knuckle grip on some kind of a win at all costs mentality. Why? Because they need what you give them. Unconditional love. Chance after chance after chance after chance. Why? Because you are enabling this person to be an asshole. You're enabling it. And by enabling this person to be an asshole, you are, by default, circumventing their soul journey. Because I'll tell you right now, their soul journey is to learn how to not be an asshole. But Pisces allows this person to be an asshole, male or female. Pisces allows this person to be an asshole. And therefore, this person has no challenge to grow in any way whatsoever to the Ace of Cups in reverse. Hurt feelings, repressed emotions. This person hurts feelings all over the place and Pisces just pushes it down, pushes it down. The Empress, Ace of Cups and Judgment in reverse. This Empress is also you, Pisces. This Empress is the third lesson of the Major Arcana. The first lesson is the Magician. Where your mind goes, your reality becomes. Where is your mind going right here, Pisces? Well, it's not going in the right direction because you keep talking yourself out of doing what it is that you know to be true. The Intuition. The card of Pisces, the High Priestess, is lesson number two. Your intuition will constantly lead you in the direction of your best and highest good. What are you ignoring in the mood card? Your intuition. You know the truth about this person, but you refuse to accept it. Lesson three is the Empress. She manifests according to what her intuition is telling her, and she becomes the seedbed of all creation. The seedbed of all creation, Pisces. This is you taking control of the situation and standing in your power, following what your intuition is telling you, following where it is you should be manifesting because up here you can't seem to manifest what's in your best and highest good because you keep tailing this person all over the place. Maybe it's a sister. Maybe it's a brother. Huh? Stand in your power, Pisces. Ace of Cups in reverse. These hurt feelings, these repressed emotions, judgment in reverse. This self-doubt that this person constantly creates inside of you and in your life. Five of Pentacles. You need to leave it alone and leave it in the cold. You do. You need to leave it alone and leave it in the cold. The Three of Wands. Have some foresight. Have some foresight and understand the Two of Pentacles in reverse, that this imbalance is not going to go anywhere. Your person is egocentric and self-centered because they need to consume a sense of self-worth from the outside in. They have absolutely no clue or desire to understand why they are the way that they are. And the imbalance in this relationship will continue. The Five of Wands in reverse. Five of Wands in reverse talks about the avoidance of responsibility. This person is not ever, 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 ever going to change. Why? Because they have unresolved bullshit from their childhood that their ego is too big to admit that they need to tend to. So they just keep vomiting it all over you. The Three of Pentacles. They want teamwork and collaboration with you, Pisces. The Ten of Swords in reverse. They want to renew and regenerate, not giving a flying flip about the pain that they have caused you. The Ace of Wands in reverse. Ace of Wands in reverse. Eh, you know, this talks about a lack of motivation. This person is truly not motivated to change anything in the dynamics of this relationship. To the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. 
and they're stuck like Chuck in a behavior pattern that they simply are too self-absorbed to realize. Pisces is stuck in a behavior pattern of pandering to someone that doesn't really care about anybody but their own, their own self. The sun, on top of all of this, says the path to happiness, success, and vitality is to see very clearly the fool. You need to bounce in a different direction. You need to go in a different direction Go away from this relationship. If this, if this parting of the ways has not happened for you yet, when it does, make it the last time. If this is happening for you right now, make it the last time and go in a different direction. Why? Because there is a brand new beginning and a brand new journey ahead of you. The path to happiness, success, and vitality in your life is found breaking free from this relationship. Why? The wheel in reverse, because it's a blockage to everything. The universe cannot divinely orchestrate the steps of your path. If your free will is rooted in something that is not in your best and highest good, this relationship is not in your best and highest good. And if your free will continues to manifest it, the universe has no choice but to let you have at it because they cannot, they are not allowed to intervene in your free will. You point your free will to the direction of your best and highest good. You point your free will to coming to terms with what you know to be true in your soul and what you that which you don't want to be true. When you come to terms with that, the wheel of fortune flips in the upright and the universe now begins to participate in your life. But if you are doing something that's not in your best and highest good, they ain't gonna. Two of cups in reverse. This relationship is inva invalid and this relationship is unviable and it's not in your best interest. Justice in reverse. It's an injustice to your life. It's unfair. It's not right. What else is the injustice? Is your lack of accountability for your journey. What's your lack of accountability? Well, you are manifesting continuously something into your life that is not in your best and highest good. And for that, you will pay the consequences over and over and over again until you realize that you don't need this in your life. This isn't healthy for your life. You change your mind, you change your perspective, and you begin to manifest your way out of this situation. Point your free will towards what it is that you know to be true in your soul. The wheel of fortune spins in the upright and divinely orchestrates the steps of your path. Justice spins in the upright and says yes right on. Two of Wands in reverse. Your future cannot be built in this situation. Justice in the upright. Take accountability for your actions, for your life, your path, and your purpose. To the Nine of Wands. Resilience and persistence. Resilience and persistence. The Five of Wands in reverse. Avoiding responsibility. The Six of Cups in reverse. Woundings from the past. You, Pisces need to take accountability for your emotional woundings, which for some reason, this satiates somehow, some way. You need to take accountability. You need to be responsible for fixing this emotional wounding from your childhood that puts you in a position to tolerate all of this bullshit that's going on with this person. Mm-hmm. If this were, if these were your cards, we could get down to the brass tacks of things and we could make a whole lot of sense out of all of this. But this is a general reading and I just simply cannot be specific. Four of Pentacles says, get yourself under control though. Get yourself under control, Pisces. King of Pentacles in reverse because you're dealing with a domineering, overbearing energy. Nine of Cups, wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, satisfaction, the Seven of Wands. Your challenge is going to be the same as it always has been. Trying to create some kind of emotional fulfillment from someone that is self-serving and self-centered. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. And it brings upset to your home, your family, your finances, your sense of well-being all the way around. Again and again and again. 
the fool again brand new beginning brand new journey bounce out of this situation do not recreate here five of cups because it's only going to bring you loss regret despair and disappointment again and again and again the star your path and your purpose is the most important thing this relationship is human Okay, it is somehow, some way, the way that you think your human journey is supposed to go. Somehow, some way, you think your journey is supposed to include this person, maybe because they're blood. Somehow, some way, you think that this person must be a part of your life. And this star card is telling you that your path and your purpose is not here. The only thing this relationship brings to you is loss, regret, despair, and disappointment. And that is not part of the soul journey or the soul growth. Your path and your purpose, Pisces, Princess of Pentacles, is manifesting someplace else. Knight of Swords, wrap your mind around it and execute it in your life. Because this person is coming back to you. This was in the center of your reading too. Right here. This person is going to expect things to just fall right back into place again. High Priestess in reverse. And Pisces has the propensity to sink right back into it by ignoring your intuition. What's your intuition? The moon. You know the truth about this. But you don't want it to be the truth. Ace of Swords in reverse. You don't want it to be the truth. The tower, tower after tower after tower, implosion after implosion after implosion with this person. Year after year after year after year, same old bullshit. The tower is supposed to be an indication that what you are trying to build in your life cannot be built where you're trying to build it. It cannot support the weight of what it is that you want to create in your life, Pisces. Stand up, brush yourself off, and leave the ruins, leave the wreckage behind you. Stop fixing it. Stop pushing the stones back together again, asking why, 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 why can't this person love me? Why can't they see how much I love them? Why do they do this over and over and over again? Six of Swords, leave the mental baggage behind you. Nine of Swords, the mental baggage, anxiety, and despair. All the time, about the same bullshit. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. You're trying to grow your life on barren ground, just like the tower. Strength. What's strength about? It's about overcoming. How do we get strength? Well, we have the courage to face our own issues and do something about it. What's your issue here, Pisces? Well, you have some emotional abandonment issues from your past, your childhood that is affecting your ability to see clearly what this relationship is. And I guarantee you this isn't the only relationship in your life where you pander to people. In your childhood, maybe you had to walk on eggshells. Mm -hmm. You have some kind of childhood issue that is undealt with, unresolved, that you are repeating and repeating and repeating, searching for some kind of validation from this person. And this person will give it to you for a minute. But the second things don't go their way, they're, they're nasty. Nasty. Overcome it. Gain courage to overcome it. What are you going to overcome? King of Wands in reverse. You're going to come to terms once and for all. That this person is an egocentric, self-centered person. They have a gaping hole inside of their chest where they cannot generate their sense of self-worth. Therefore, they consume their sense of self-worth from you. Again and again and again. And if for some reason you get tired of it or you don't give it to them when they want it, they turn ugly. They spin on their heels and they turn ugly. Death. Bring it to an end once and for all. Follow your guts. See the truth of a situation. Look, the moon in reverse and come to terms 
with that which you do not want to accept as the truth. Your life will transform. You will be happier, lighter, and brighter, Pisces, without this relationship in your life. You will. I don't care if it's blood. I don't care if it's family. I don't care if it's your tribe. I don't care what it is, but this person is toxic. They're toxic to you, and your behavior in this situation is toxic to you. Come to terms with what you know to be true. And bring it ultimately, once and for all, to a big, fat ending. Mm -hmm. Two of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Because you're at a real serious crossroads, Pisces. You're either going to continue to do the same thing over and over and over again and get the same results over and over and over again, or you're not. There's only two choices in a two. King of Swords in reverse to the Queen of Swords in reverse. This is reflective of what has either recently happened in your past or is about to happen in your life with this person. Y'all going to have words. You're going to exchange words. And Temperance in reverse talks about being imbalanced, being sad, leaking out the bottom yet again. See, temperance is the representative, temperance is representative of all four of the elements of the human nature. That's what the temperance card is. It's about tempering your emotions, your sense of well-being, your inspirations, your passions, and your mind. All four of those things need to be going at basically the same wavelength in order for you to overflow out of the top and not leak out the bottom. When you are overflowing out of the top, you can fulfill the things that need to be fulfilled in your life. When you're leaking in the bottom, you're constantly looking to consume something. You're leaking in the bottom because you have unresolved childhood trauma directly associated with abandonment issues. Whether this person is the root of that or not, that is your issue. And because that is your issue, you put up with a bunch of bullshit from not only this person, but I'm sure previous people in your life as well. And you're constantly leaking out of the bottom because you have not resolved your, tri your childhood trauma yet. And you try to fill it in a situation just like this. It's imbalanced and it's not productive for your life. And then the Hierophant. Hmm. The Hierophant is about your growth, your wisdom. The Hierophant is a card that talks about spiritual wisdom. It talks about um, your inner guidance system. It talks about transformation. Sure, it talks about commitments, obligations, family, work, all that kind of stuff. And we've already addressed all of that in here. This card is about you standing on the platform of a belief system that is healed, strong and righteous and this is the key to you building the kind of future that you want for yourself instead of being um instead of being thrown to the to, to the to the wayside over and over and over again by not only this person but other people in your life as well it is time to change your perspective about why it is that you are involved with this person and to cut this person out of your life once and for all. And that is your message, Pisces. I hope that that helps someone. Namaste.